everybody, it's Jamie from No Getting Off This Train. In today's grocery haul, I have lots of easy and budget meals to show you. If you missed my video from last week talking about my update with like my allergies and stuff, make sure you go back and watch that because from here on forward, I'll be talking about things that I'm doing and if it doesn't make sense, you'll need to go watch the video. So basically, I got a patch test done last week and it showed like six different allergens that I have, unfortunately. Um, some of it is fragrance and then the big one is, I can't even begin to pronounce it, but it is a um, preservative that's found in a lot of cleaning supplies and like personal hygiene stuff. So I've been going throughout my entire house trying to find products with those items in it and then replacing them with other things. One of those items, strangely enough, is dishwasher tabs. Like you, it, and it has fragrance in it. So I didn't realize how many items had some sort of fragrance. You just don't even really think about it. So the cheapest alternative that I found, because I think I was just buying like the big things of Cascade from Sam's Club, um, Kroger actually has the Simple Truth brand and they have their own like free and clear dishwasher tabs and they're a lot cheaper than some of the other brands. So I'm definitely going to invest in that one this week. So yeah, I'll be going through and slowly replacing all the stuff that has the fragrance and I'll update you when that happens too. So a grocery haul. I went to Aldi this past weekend. It's something super simple. I've been trying to work on getting a video out with a bunch of budget friendly meal ideas and it's been like three weeks and I think after all the, the uh, recipes this week I should have enough for a video coming up on Friday. So let's get into the haul now and I'll show you what I bought. All right here's my big Aldi haul for the weekend. So starting over on this side, just got one dozen eggs because I have a lot at home still. Just a container of strawberries for Allison and just some bananas for breakfast and snacking. I was running low on coffee, so I got some of the French roast. Then just some baby carrots for snacks. We were almost out of rice, so I got a three pound bag here. Here's two cans of tomato sauce that's going to be used in a couple of different things. I also got six more of these sparkling frost. It's basically like sparkling ice, but the Aldi brand. So there's like cherry limeade and then black cherry. And I think I got another one, strawberry kiwi. Then back here, just some tortilla chips and a bag of spinach for a couple of things. Some French vanilla coffee creamer. As some almond milk, I'm using these in smoothies. And then back here is some romaine hearts. I'm chopping this up for salad. Some shredded mozzarella. I'm making some pizzas this week. And down here is some deli chicken for sandwiches. And some string cheese just for snacking. Some pepperoni for those pizzas. And then some sliced provolone for sandwiches. I also saw this, it was new. This is basically a little Lunchable. This is pepperoni and cheese, and then there's also miniature oatmeal cookies. I thought Allison might like that. And then I also got these miniature, or like flatbread. I'm gonna use this for the pizzas. Then I got two of these sweet snack selects for Allison. Some shredded Parmesan cheese to go in salads then a jar of salsa and back here i got three boxes of the dark chocolate peanut butter protein bars then a ham and cheese lunchable for allison Yay. also some italian bread for those sandwiches uh, i got some sour cream and then some greek yogurt which apparently allison wants no i don't <laughs> um, i just wanted to interrupt your video here's some hummus to go with carrots I got a turkey kielbasa. I'm making like a sausage and rice skillet thing. And then lastly, I've got three bags of frozen broccoli and three bags of green beans. My total for this weekend is $91.19 and I have quite a bit of money left over. My plan is to go to Mr. Max grocery outlet to grab like a lot more snacks and see what else they have. 
and then stocking up on a couple of those replacement items with the fragrance. So as far as the meal plan goes, um, so the last weekend I actually went to Jungle Gems and got quite a bit of stuff. Uh, one of the things that I bought was like, it was actually four of them. They're these big bags of like Asian fettuccine or something like that. It was a four pack and they were only $1.25 each. So I bought four of them and I'm gonna use one of them this week as kind of like a stir fry with just some veggies and maybe some chicken that I have in the freezer. I'll let you guys know how it is because it looks pretty interesting. Also, flatbread pizza is on the menu, is something super easy. And then we're, um, ch I'm chopping up that lettuce for a salad. We'll have that as a side. Burrito bowls are up next. I have beans and rice in the pantry and then we'll have like lettuce and cheese, sour cream. I have pasta on the menu as well and I never really have a recipe for pasta. It's just honestly boiling pasta in a pot sometimes putting sauce with it and then cheese, usually some frozen veggies. And then lastly is a sausage and rice skillet. So I've got that turkey kielbasa and then I'm going to slice that up and then cook it with some peppers and onions and then there's rice I'll be cooking on the side to go in it. So yeah, super simple stuff, budget friendly, something that I needed this week. Allison starts school in like a week and a half and so I'm gonna try to take advantage of this week as much as I can. So leave me a comment and tell me what is one thing that you're looking forward to on your menu this week. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later.